I found a way down. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Captain, I compared the mold in the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E series. The stuff originated here. Yeah. Well, time to destroy it then. I hear grumbles, but I do not see the grumbles. Guarding the mega seat, huh? Ow. Heavy firepower. Oh, do you need back shots? That looks more of plagacy than my CD. like cheating. <laughs> Reloading now. Just a now it looks like more of my CD. Okay, Duh, it's already done. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Keep going. The rest of you stay above ground. exists a moldy little baron told her maybe we can figure that out later focus on the plan moldy little bird i found it it's the mega my seed Alpha the squad. I've located the Mega My Seed. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. Good arm. And two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. There was yeah. a time. And we didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, <laughs> we have told him. Yeah. I have just a thought, Chris. You, when, what, what stage of the plan got interrupted? Like, was it, you found out about Miranda, and then she took place of Mia? So then things got rust? Or was it after y'all already stormed in? I'm a hoping it's, she took place of Mia, which rust the plan. Cause good lord. Like, y'all instigated the start of it real heavy. Did, 
can y'all stop the squelching? And the just gyrating movement. This must be Miranda's lab. Subject name Salvatore Mord Moreau. Kadu affinity low, brain function surprisingly low. The Kadu has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish like gills and a swim bladder. Another subject with the regular cell division, causing him to transform into a giant fish. The subject is unable to control this transformation. Too many defects. An unfit vessel for Ava. Subject name Alessina Dimitrescu. Good to affinity, most favorable. Brain function, normal. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. The subject can heal an extre external wound within seconds and grow her nails into claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increase in body size. Note, due to a hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration. Regeneration properties. I suspect that if, if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. An unfit vessel for Ava. Regeneration is not maintained properly. So, Lee, do you have that transformation already, or did? Stabbing her cause her to transform in such a way. <laughs> Subject name Carl Heisenberg. Kado affinity incredibly favorable. Brain functions normal. Has electric organs similar to an electric ray. Narke Japonica. These electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system. Can therefore pass and control electricity throughout the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields, which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen, but still an unfit vessel for Ava. Subject name Donna Benevento. Beneviento. Do affinity favorable. Brain function is normal, although severe mental illness. Physically, she is no different from a regular human. However, she can secrete a single, a signal-producing substance, substance which controls plants infected by the mutamycete. When humans absorb the pollen from particular flowers, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her kado among her dolls in order to control them from a distance. An unfit vessel for Ava. No. That. Ev? That's not Ev, is it? Definitely Miranda. That looks like it's Caitlin. Dear Miranda, my dearest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I'm incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor, half-dead medical student in the snow. I've always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research. To think one can transform a human by infecting them with an organism. Positively visionary. 
I knew that with that knowledge, I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two wars... Sorry. And humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realized, however, through the many nights of intellectual tasks you and I shared, intellectual talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. Your hope to bring back a single dead person while I aim to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not aid me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I have to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I found the key to evolution. The progenitor, a virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus's research. I will call it Umbrella. Just like the symbol of the, in the cave that we spoke about. I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday too. You taught me so much, and for that, I will forever be in your debt. Sincerely, your long, lifelong student, Oswald E. Spencer. Spencer, here. No way. Yeah, here a long time ago. Yeah, she was part of the experiments. Revelin. My Ava, it has been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then, but now... Now I can bring you back to life from the main of my seat. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the main of my seat. Regulator, the giant chalice. All that is left is to merge her with the Megamycete. The ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I so wanted to be with you again, and that's when I found it. The Megamycete. Completely by accident. When I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. The Megamycete breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there, too, then there would be a way to bring you back. I just needed the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Megamycete. That way I could control them, experiment on them. I have, an ex I have experimented on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Kadu. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Alicina, who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold in your DNA. But all they created was another defect, Evelyn. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose, that, thanks to them, and knew who she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Ava, I have waited too long to see you again. Okay, I think that's everything. not everything show me your hands Umbrise this is Alpha where is Miranda right now still the ceremony site whatever she's doing she's staying put okay god damn it really is you I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught. In Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. 
Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is gone. I couldn't save him. But I can save Rose. Yeah, it's rumbling. Mia, are you not gonna tell Chris what you wouldn't fucking tell Ethan? <laughs> Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. <sighs> Special's one word for it. I see frames dropped, but I don't know when that was. Probably with all the fucking explosions happening. <laughs> Shut up, Evelyn. So it's there. Which way do I go? Freeze. This shit. My body. Ethan. I'm gonna start remembering that yet the heart was ripped out. You're so oh, your fingers are fine. Save Rose. Wrong. <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? Yeah. Still. <sighs> See, Miranda didn't kill you. Jack did. You didn't think it was weird. No matter. You got hurt. Remember, three years ago, the Baker House, you were murdered by Jack. You died there. Speaks. Well, I guess Mayo was given the cure. No way. Ethan didn't actually use the cure on himself at all. Only me. Messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Bro, you. But also, unlike Mia, she was. Ethan was never under Evelyn's control. Even after essentially dying and being infected. Yeah. 
get it? <laughs> Your whole body is nothing but mold. <laughs> you can't ever see your family again. No. no. Rose. Rose. I, I have to, to save my daughter. You're already dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's much more, so I might as well hit the end. I'm kind of surprised. At last, he awakes. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. <laughs> Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Mm. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well. Falling apart. Yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winter. I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah. I have to be. Yeah, can I do some more shopping? <clears throat> I guess a little bit. I gotta go. Okay. Gross. Any more? Okay, yeah, you're over here. This is your last chance. And I somehow have a mace. And I have Crystal Heisenberg. And since nothing else. Oh, the assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. Same for these. I don't have anything else to put them yet, so trade them in. Your journey nears its end. How about some reckless spending to finish it off? Lone Barrow custom part for handgun greatly increases firepower. Look 
looking forward to testing it. That gun looks so this weird. This may be our last meeting. Be sure you have all you need. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. Okay. Please be well. Thanks. There you go. It's your expensive toward the end there. Got that fucking house, god damn it. Oh, Ethan, you can't run right now. Beautiful daughter, come to me. Eva. Is that you? Oh, how I've missed you. What? Still rose. Interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. Give Rose to me. Now! You will see. Once I kill you properly, everything. Get her now! <sighs> Did you more shots than just a couple, Chris? This moment, and you try to take it away. Rose, you want Ava, and I think you failed at making Ava. You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Wiggins. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Megalites. Now, please do not worry for little Rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with true happiness. So now you can die peacefully. Oh, that's all the magma. Not letting you get away. I don't like this. <laughs> now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in my hands. Yes. The hell I will. If I combine Rose with a Mega my seat, my daughter will be made manifest at last. Every Ow. Century, a century. 
Ow. Yeah, go shotgun. Oh, wait. Nope. Go rifle. No? Ow. Why do you eat okay. Do shotgun. Surely you have no need for us now. So close to death. She's my goddamn daughter. You psycho. Your life is over, Mr. Why do you still <laughs> Done? Not a fan of the first person shit game. Stop doing it, Demi. My daughter! My Eva! It's dying, so, so is Ethan. Ethan! Ethan! Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up. Oh, no. Chris. Ethan. He did it. It's finished. I think we've... Finished each other. Ethan, we gotta move. Yeah. Oh, now it's showing the line of where his jacket reattached itself. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> Tell yourself. Now come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. God damn it. Goodbye, Rosemary.
Oh, do I get to press a button for this? No, of course not. <laughs> Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? Yeah, uh, there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Chris needs. There needs. I feel like a sequel game eventually needs to be Chris filing. sacrificing himself. This is a bio weapon. The hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. Five didn't necessarily have this issue, but six, six and now eight have Chris seeing someone else sacrifice themselves with peer between Piers and now Ethan. I think Ethan maybe even hits harder because Piers was a soldier. Piers signed up to be a soldier, soldier, but Ethan was just sort of a normal dude who got wrapped up in a bunch of crap. Chris feels like he needs to go out in a blaze of glory, it seems. Or it feels like Chris should go out in a blaze of glory. It might piss people off, though, to kill off Chris. But it also pissed people off to have Chris look fucking weird at the end of Seven, so... But it's also even the thought of, hey... There's other characters. I know they're remaking four with Leon, but Jill, Claire, Sheva, Jacob, Cherry. Don't bring back Elena. <laughs> Only one I probably don't care for. Go ahead, skip. boy will be able to touch the moon? Not that he can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon is cold. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. Talk to the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. 
somewhere else. The day of all days. We have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. She's mm. just a kid. <sighs> Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. Did you even meet him, dumbass? <laughs> I know. There's something blinking. I can't tell if it was popping or what. Father's story is now done. Casual nine and a half hours roughly.